Hey guys, Crypto Sunday, and we've had a hell of a uh, red week. Uh, down 16,000 on the portfolio. Uh, this is sort of largely down to banking news. Uh, so the big news is uh, Silvergate, sort of, we kind of thought they were uh, going to go. And uh, Silicon Valley Bank, uh, mentioned yesterday, has uh, basically shut down in uh, very, very short notice. Uh, so this is sort of partly uh, sort of linked to the same reasons. Um, uh, Silvergate sort of had some money in uh, treasuries and sort of the rates on those have uh, gone up. And so then after the FTX uh, scandal, people were sort of withdrawing their money and that meant they had to sell their uh, US treasuries for a loss. Um, but... Uh, Silicon Valley Bank was more just a uh, a bet on those treasuries, basically. They're uh, sort of, I think I saw 17 times leveraged. So, yeah, if they lose, you know, quite a lot of money and then people want their money out of the bank, then they haven't got the money to pay people, basically. They're uh, down on their, on their holdings. So... They sort of took a huge bet on uh, U.S. Treasuries back when they were sort of one and a half percent. They've now gone up to getting towards five percent. So they've lost, you know, billions. Uh, I think I saw they held two hundred and ten billion in uh, assets under management, and this is sort of basically small um, ish, small ish startups. And yeah, it's. Uh, pretty poor so you've had everyone to now coming out saying we are affected we aren't affected uh, i saw roku sort of one of the bigger companies saying they had um, sort of a reasonable amount of their cash sort of hundreds of millions um i did see it being sort of uh, more businesses than um sort of joe public uh, they said about 2.7 percent of their uh, customers at uh, silicon valley bank uh, only 2.7% have less than a quarter of a million dollars. So basically all of it uh, is sort of businesses and pretty much all of it is going to be not insured by the um, the sort of FDIC um, equivalent of our um, FSCS protection scheme. So the money is sort of, unless they get bailed out, just going to be gone. Unfortunate. As I say, over uh, the next few weeks, I'm sure you're going to get all sorts of uh, people admitting that they do have some exposure, didn't want to do so immediately, sort of probably thinking they could uh, resolve things in uh, the next couple of weeks, but they'll probably then have to announce it. Um, one that has sort of already announced, and this is sort of largely the reason for uh, some of the crypto downside, I would think, is uh, Circle, the or manager of USDC or uh, USD coin. Um, the company is saying they have $3.3 billion in uh, reserves for the USDC token uh, stuck with Silicon Valley Bank. So uh, the big banks don't really like uh, banking anything to do with crypto. So it's not a surprise that they have uh, a reasonable amount of money with this sort of bank. And yeah, so if that money's sort of gone, then uh, that does mean people are worried about getting their reserves back. And it's caused um, USDC to break a dollar. So you sort of look at, um, obviously on the, uh, on the chart, you have to sort of exclude that, uh, that drop. But it's essentially sort of never broken uh, a dollar um, sort of much past any any real amount, uh, even sort of in the FTX uh, scandals and that sort of thing, actually went up slightly, sort of due to people selling uh, crypto into stable coins. Um, and yeah, it's never really sort of had too much of an issue. And now you've got you've got this, obviously. Um, so it's gone up, admittedly. Uh, if you look at sort of the last seven days and the last day, uh, it did get down to. 88 cents from the looks of it and is yeah pushing up to back towards a dollar uh, just sort of refreshing this looks like it's yeah 96 cents so 
up and down, but sort of getting back towards, uh, well, 98 cents now. Um, but getting back towards a dollar, we'll see. Expect there is going to be concern about the uh, US Treasuries that companies like Circle and uh, Teva or uh, Bitfinex do hold because they're basically encouraged to have uh, US Treasuries as sort of part of their reserves as well as just cash. Um, and you would expect them to sort of have the very, very short term uh, Treasuries, sort of naught to three months or uh, uh, T bills or the. Um, what is it, commercial paper of sort of companies, which is really, really short-term stuff. Uh, but, yeah, I guess even that sort of can come down in rising interest rates. Uh, so if they've been sort of taking any more risk with some of it and maybe getting, you know, one-year treasuries, then, uh, yeah, there could be sort of a slight concern. So I've never been keen on uh, stable coins. I'm more sort of just sit with... Um, ordinary cash uh, and buy sort of crypto when I want to buy crypto I generally wouldn't sit in stable coins so aside from crypto itself going down uh, this doesn't really cause me um, very much of an issue but interesting to see where it goes so switching a little bit more positive uh, we've had some interesting music news uh, I do think sort of music is uh, an area that or could benefit reasonably well from crypto. Uh, I've sort of mentioned before my sort of thoughts on it. Uh, I do like the uh, the stat that sort of over ninety percent of um, artists' revenue uh, ends up in the hands of sort of the record companies and producers and sort of various uh, people down the chain. And sort of the artists themselves ends up with often ten percent. And sort of it can be even worse on. Uh, Spotify, uh, so it's interesting to see them get into sort of, uh, it's looking like NFT token enabled music playlists, so sort of gating off content to people that hold an NFT. Uh, I sort of thought this was uh, doubly good really, it's potentially um, arming sort of artists with another tool to be able to make a little bit of money, because Spotify sort of really isn't geared towards uh, smaller artists uh, sort of saw before like 95 percent of the revenue sort of goes to basically the top one uh, percent or the top half a percent really um, of artists on spotify so it's potentially given them uh, a little bit more sort of avenue for smaller people to make money uh, so uh, token holders of fluff moonbirds kingship and overlord NFTs are uh, they have a sort of token gated it's only a playlist it's not actually content so I'm guessing you can uh, get all of these tracks elsewhere um, or on Spotify just not in a playlist but this is uh, somebody sort of choosing a playlist for you uh, I'm guessing this is just a, a trial run to maybe uh, look at sort of content gated um or sort of token gated content rather than just token gated playlists but it was a good start I thought uh, they've also had Universal Music Group's uh, NFT band Kingship um, shared that it had created a token gated playlist for um, NFT holders for uh, or featuring Queen, Missy Elliott, Snoop Dogg and Led Zeppelin so quite a few uh, companies sort of Pushing this, um, yeah, quite interesting. Um, not to be left out, uh, Audius, one of my sort of uh, one of my holdings, more sort of bullish holdings, has basically done the same thing. Um, so this is sort of something that they've suggested a while ago. Uh, so I'm sure they'll be seen as sort of copying Spotify, but they have been talking about this for quite a while. And obviously, I wouldn't imagine they've. Uh, seen the news and sort of within a couple of days uh, spun this up so yeah Audius um, going for this as well and uh, gives sort of people on the platform as I say another way to maybe make a little bit of extra cash also with Audius they furthered their partnership with TikTok uh, so huge um, sort of gain for uh, Audius TikTok have I believe a billion users 
and they sort of started a partnership last year um, to sort of, uh, I guess, stream Audius music on your TikTok videos, which I was sort of hoping might have created a little bit more buzz, but uh, hasn't seemed to yet. Uh, but they're now sort of furthering this and allowing you to create an Audius login uh, from the looks of it, create an Audius uh, profile and everything uh, using TikTok login. Uh, similar to sort of how certain uh, companies and websites will allow you to do Google login or uh, Facebook login. So, yeah, link between sort of Audius and TikTok does seem to be quite interesting. And obviously it's just putting um, Audius potentially in, uh, in the eyes of a billion users. Um, this does always get mentioned as well, the... Uh, uh, investment of Katy Perry, Nas, and the Chainsmokers, uh, which contributed a $5 million funding round in September 2021. Uh, obviously, that was quite a long while ago now, and sort of haven't heard too much of them uh, since sort of trying to promote the project, so not sure how interested they still are in it, but there you go. I thought that was... Uh, Pretty good news, a double good Audius news for the week. And then having a look at the coins for the week. So everything's red, uh, unsurprisingly, but uh, some more than others, of course. Uh, we've got Bitcoin down 7.8%, uh, Ethereum down 5.2%. So interesting that's doing better than, uh, than Bitcoin. I would sort of expect Bitcoin to be outperforming uh, the most um, which it is, I was 60% Bitcoin uh, last week, so 61.1, it's uh, slightly outperforming as a whole. Uh, Solana, 12.3% down, uh, sort of considering uh, buying some more if uh, if we sort of stay reasonably low, uh, under £15 is quite nice. Um, Cardano down 8.5%, uh, Chainlink just under 10% down, uh, Polygon is 5.9% down, um, XRP 1.75% uh, down, so I still think this is just basically tied to the court case, it's uh, not really following uh, the broader market all that much. Um, Audius itself, even with uh, a double sort of good news week, uh, down 17%. So possibly one that I would consider topping up on the back of this uh, good news. So sort of with fear in the market taking everything down. Um, what else we got? Quant Network, 4.4% down. Uh, Gala, 10.3%. Uh, Power Ledger, 15.7%. That's taken a hit. Um, basic Attention Token, 18.6%. So that's taken a big hit. And then uh, my two sort of newest positions, um, Internet Computer and VeChain, 11% and 16% down. So not uh, too sure whether I'll be sort of topping these up. I uh, haven't sort of kept up. Uh, with the news on the sort of smaller tokens recently, but we'll have to have a look. Uh, still, I can't uh, use my sort of large cash position at the moment because I put it in my ISA, and uh, yeah, not going to take that out, obviously, but do potentially have uh, a tiny bit of sort of cash in the bank, and I'm sort of partly considering um, if we do go sort of very, very low on crypto, uh, maybe selling off the emerging markets ETF in my uh, stock side. Sort of wanting to get back into that later, but it's a fairly sort of stable uh, ETF. And really, if we get too much lower, uh, I could see crypto sort of outperforming. So a bit risky, but a bit of a trade uh, maybe to sort of get into it uh, or sort of get out of the ETF and get back into it, you know, maybe in a year or so. So, yeah, potential uh, little bit of cash on the side there to buy if we go much lower. Um, but, yeah, let me know uh, what you guys are thinking about this week. Um, if you're sort of concerned, probably try and calm down and just uh, look at the big picture. Uh, we're kind of expecting a bit of a pullback after sort of the large January run-up. So, yeah, 
let me know uh, what you guys are thinking and uh, like and subscribe see you soon